Hello everyone, today we're in Handagara at the silk market. There's a silk cocoon market and uh, yeah, I guess it's a good way to find out uh, how you make silk. Okay, so I'm inside the market now and uh, yeah, apparently they sell cocoons like 3,000 kgs every day. It's crazy uh, and they said today is a really not a busy day at all, it's a small day. It's crazy, there are cocoons everywhere. They auction the cocoons and each box contains more or less 40 kgs and uh, it's sold like up to 300 rupees per kg. Once the people agree on the price the boxes are put behind in the cages to be weighed and uh, to get an accurate weight to uh, set the price. They were kind of yellow, but outside they're really white. Apparently, uh, the white ones are crossbred. It's like a uh, natural silk is yellow, but uh, some farmers will uh, breed the worms so that they end up with like really white silk, so they don't have to bleach it before coloring it. So it might be a little more expensive. As you can see, there are two different types. You can clearly see the color difference on these ones. Behind you have the screens where you have the price of the silk uh, that's mentioned. And apparently, some of them go up to 450 uh, rupees per kg. Now you saw the market, but there were a few steps before that, uh, before the, the worm becomes like this cocoon. And uh, the first step is to feed it. And what they feed it is mulberry leaves. So they grow these. Whoop. These leaves, mulberry, they uh, take fresh ones and they bring them. And uh, yeah, then the worms uh, eat them. I'm going to try to find some worms to show you. So in here they feed the worms. The worms will eat all the leaves. and. Uh, yeah, that's where they'll grow and uh, become really fat. Where and after they'll go, they'll go outside to, to make the cocoons. where they're gonna just go around and form their cocoons and after yeah they'll have to collect it. Once they're arranged they're just like this on the sides of the houses so if you stop uh, in the village uh, you, you can see these around Hamnaga because they produce a lot of silk around here. Yeah, the first step is uh, you put them in the trays they form their cocoons and then you can collect the cocoons. I don't know if you see in the back. Yeah there are some.
happens between the worm and the cocoon. After that, if you want to use the silk, uh, you'll have to kill uh, what's inside the cocoon. Otherwise, you'll have something really weird that comes out. I mean, I'll put a picture here. Uh, uh, it's pretty fun. And uh, yeah, there are two other steps that I'd like to cover. It's before, so how do the farmers get the worms? And uh, yeah, I have no idea how. And then uh, what happens after? It's like uh, when they uh, boil the cocoons, kill everything, and then uh, like weave the silk. So yeah, that will be for other videos, and uh, I don't know when, but uh, it will happen someday. Okay, see you. See you next time, and uh, yeah, bye.